about 60 miles south of New Orleans, are the salt marshes and shallow waters of Louisiana's Barataria Bay. Protected from the open waters of the Gulf of Mexico by a chain of barrier islands, 200 years ago, these coves and bayous were home to marauding bands of pirates. Though the pirates are long gone, the bay remains a popular stopover for tens of millions of migratory waterfowl. Its marshes and mangroves are fertile nesting grounds and nurseries for birds and fish. And despite being hit hard by the 2010 oil spill, these waters teem with hundreds of species of marine animals. This is also the permanent home for about 1,300 bottlenose dolphins. Though the acute health effects of the oil spill are over, a team of scientists are searching for answers to a surprising discovery. Their investigation begins here, almost 2,000 miles from the waters of Barataria Bay, at a military base in San Diego, California. This is home to over 70 bottlenose dolphins that are part of the Navy Marine Mammal Program. Trained to work in open waters, one of their missions is to use their sonar skills to detect enemy threats like sea mines. Cynthia Smith is director of the National Marine Mammal Foundation. She and her team are responsible for the health care of the dolphins. Every day when we show up to work, we make sure that we're doing everything we can to provide them the best possible care. And part of that is this relationship that develops between our animal care experts and the animals. Well, what you're seeing here are my colleagues working one-on-one, -on -one, a trainer with an animal, on their daily physical exam. Right now we're working with our youngest calf. She's about six weeks old, and this is around the time when they start mouthing. We try to take an opportunity at this point to put fish in their mouth so that it's nutritious and it's good for them. Just like us, dolphins get bacteria in their mouths and on their teeth. And to make sure that their teeth are healthy and their gums are healthy, we brush their teeth daily. And as you can see, we try to make it as relaxing as possible. But what exactly is the connection between the Navy dolphins and the dolphins of Barataria Bay? Simply put, these are among the healthiest bottlenose dolphins in the world, a perfect control group for scientists to measure the impact of oil on the bottlenose dolphins of Barataria Bay. Hi, lady. Are you ready? Forrest Gomez is deputy director of medicine. So remind me what her recent history has been. Her care of the dolphins includes monitoring their reproductive health, including periodic sonograms. Dolphins do tend to get pregnant more on the left side, which is why we always check the left first. Let's go ahead and decrease the depth. That's good. Let's take that and save that. So far, not too exciting, but we'll check her again in a couple weeks because you never know. And then we're also following her with blood work, watching her progesterone really closely. Pretty much every day we've been training for what's happening in the Gulf of Mexico. Those dolphins have been affected by the Deepwater Horizon oil spill. And the only way to really understand that is to study animals like this that are healthy and in good shape. When we go to the Gulf of Mexico, we're interested in why are so many dolphins losing their young? Why are so many pregnancies failing 